When the sixth hour had come, there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour. And at the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lemma sabachthani, which means, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why was it dark? What was happening on what we now call Good Friday? To explain it, I want to come in uh, a reverse direction. I'm going to go to what you probably have heard multiple times in worship services at some time in your life, probably at the end, when the pastor would quote Numbers chapter 6, verses 24 to 26. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Now, dare say in your mind right now, you're going, what does that have to do with darkness on Good Friday? Well, my friend, what happened in the darkness is the absolute opposite of the blessing. Instead of Jesus being blessed and kept on the cross, Jesus was cursed and abandoned. Instead of the Father's face shining on Jesus, the Father turned his face away. Instead of grace, Jesus took what we deserved. He took the punishment of our sins. And instead of peace, Jesus took our judgment. He took the exact opposite of what was offered in the priestly blessing on us. But then at the end of three hours, he said these simple words, actually one word, to tell us die. It is finished, paid in full, once and for all. So what was an awful Friday for Jesus Christ, our Savior, is now a good Friday for us. Now God says to us through Christ, I will bless you and keep you. I will make my face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. I will lift up my countenance upon you and give you peace. Why? Because you who were once alienated and hostile in mind, doing evil deeds, he has now reconciled in his body of flesh by his death in order to present you holy and blameless and above reproach. The Lord God has indeed lifted his countenance and given us peace. We are no longer alienated. We are now brought into the presence of God by His grace in Christ. Good Friday to you.